Most people in America are familiar with what reconnaissance missions are. It is an information gathering intelligence type of research that helps an individual be prepared. In the business world, we have something similar. It's called market research. When I'm working with someone to develop a marketing plan, I help them, and usually I do it, the marketing research for their potential program, their potential product, or their potential company if they're just launching one. You see, you have to know what your potential can be. You have to understand what your competition is and isn't marvelously doing for two reasons. You have to know where the opportunities lay for you to use your skill sets and talents perhaps differently than they do and articulate it differently than they do. But at the same time, you have to know how to refer your competition when you run into those potential clients, those potential customers that really aren't right for you. The value of American life is the opportunity for discernment. We can often discern by creating a sales process who is and isn't appropriate for our program. A simple example that I've often given when I talk about this topic is my Japanese language program. I created a standardized three to four step sales process that all clients, regardless of their age, station, whatnot, had to go through in order to prove whether or not they could possibly be a client of mine. Because what I'm after for my business are the potential of long-term clients. I'm interested in building long-term relationships. I'm interested in building long-term revenue from that business program, and I did that regularly. It was the main staple for my family. Now, in your work, what are the main skill sets that you have, and how are you marketing them so that it creates and produces the main staple of your life? If you've lied to yourself, then you continue to do something that is consuming your time every day to the point that it's the detriment of your international or relational aspects of your family, meaning your interpersonal relationships within your family with your spouse, your significant other, your lover, or your children. If you don't have enough family time, that's on your business mind, that you didn't choose to do something that allows you full value of your time. Time, according to my late mentor, uh, John Newman, who was the ABA, American Basketball Association, owner at one time, when he came to speak at my Business Strategy and Technology Forum, he had a marvelous rendition on how time is the most valuable thing that another human being could give to you. Because at the end of our life, what does everyone want more of? More time with our loved ones. More time for our hobbies more time to do things, more time to be in good health. The life force around us is important, but the people in our lives are significant, and God either leads us to that individual, or we lead ourselves into hell because we didn't think about what God feels about what we're doing. In moments of time, we make that difference. Therefore, time is the most valuable resource that we have. Time in business always relates to value of investment or value of purchase from other people of our work. 